Now, before we start this problem, let's go over a few basic things associated with related rates, particularly derivatives. You need to be familiar with implicit differentiation. For instance, what is the derivative of y cubed with respect to x? The derivative of y cubed with respect to x is 3y squared times dy dx. Now let's say if we want to differentiate s to the fourth power, but with respect to r. The derivative of s to the fourth power is going to be 4s cubed but times ds over dr. Let's say if we want to differentiate x to the fifth power with respect to x. This will be 5x to the fourth times dx over dx, which will cancel, and we'll simply get 5x to the fourth. Now, if we want to differentiate x to the fifth with respect to time, it's going to be 5x to the fourth times dx dt. And with related rates, that's what you're doing. You're going to differentiate the equation with respect to time. So let's say if we differentiate with respect to time, y to the seventh power. This is going to be 7y to the 6 times dy dt. So when dealing with related rates, you're going to have things like dy dt, dx dt, and something with dt in it, depending on what the variable is, because you're dealing with uh, units of time when you're dealing with rates. A rate is basically how fast something changes with respect to time. Now let's focus on this problem. If x squared plus y squared equals 25 and dx over dt is 7, find dy dt when x is 3. Now it's always good to make a list of what you have and what you need to find. So we know the value of x, x is 3, but we don't know the value of y. Now we have the value of dx dt. That tells you how fast the variable x is changing with respect to time. So that's positive 7. If it's positive, that means that x is increasing with respect to time at this instant. Our goal is to find dy dt. So let's calculate the value of y first using this equation. So x squared plus y squared is 25. Let's replace x with 3 and let's solve for y. 3 squared is 9 and 25 minus 9 is 16. Now we need to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 16 is 4. Now it can be positive 4 or it can be negative 4. So we have two possible answers. So I'm going to put plus or minus 4. Now, how can we calculate dy dt using this equation? What do you think we need to do at this point? We need to find the derivative with respect to time. So we have to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. The derivative of x squared with respect to t is going to be 2x times dx dt. And for y squared, it's going to be something similar. It's going to be 2y times dy dt. 25 is a constant, and the derivative of a constant is 0. Now, we can plug everything in into this equation and get the answer. Now, because there's two possible answers for y, let's try both. Let's try positive 4 for now. So x is 3, dx dt is 7, so that part won't change. y is going to be 4, and now let's see what dy dt is going to be. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 7, that's 42. 2 times 4 is 8. And now let's move the 42 to the other side of the equation. So 8 dy dt is equal to 42. And then let's divide both sides by 8. Now, 42 over 8, if we divide by 2, this becomes 21 divided by 4. So dy over dt is equal to 21 over 4 when 
y is positive 4. Now I almost made one little mistake and when I move the 42 from the left to the right it should now be negative 42. So this is negative 21 over 4 when y is positive 4. Now let's see what's going to happen when y is negative 4. So this time I'm going to solve for dy dt. So let's take this term move it to the other side. So I have 2y dy dt on the left or on the right negative 2x dx dt. So now let's divide both sides by 2y. So dy dt will equal, the 2's will cancel, so it's going to be negative x times dx dt divided by y. So x is still positive 3, dx dt is 7, and y this time is negative 4. 3 times 7 is 21, and negative 21 divided by negative 4 is positive 21 over 4. So the magnitude is the same, the only difference is the sign is different. So when y is positive 4, dy dt is negative 21 over 4. And when y is negative 4, dy dt is uh, positive 21 over 4. Let's try another problem. If x squared plus y squared equals z squared, dx dt equals 3, and dy dt equals 5, find dz dt when x is equal to 8 and y is 15. So let's write down what we know. So x is 8 y is 15 and we don't have the value of z. Now dx dt, so that's positive 3, dy dt is 5, and our goal in this problem is to calculate dz dt. So let's calculate z first using this formula, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. So 8 squared plus 15 squared is equal to z squared. 8 times 8 is 64. 15 times 15 is 225. And 64 plus 225, that's 289. Now, let's take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 289 is 17. So z is equal to 17. Now, just like before, z could be plus or minus 17, but we're going to choose just positive 17, just to keep things simple. Let's not worry about the negative 17 value. So let's calculate dz dt when z is positive 17. So first, we need to differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to time. The derivative of x squared is 2x, and then times dx dt. And for y squared, it's going to be 2y times dy dt. And then z squared, 2z times dz dt. So notice that we can divide each term by 2. So basically, we can get rid of the 2. And now, plug in what you know and solve for the missing variable. So x is 8, and dx dt is 3 y is 5, and dy dt, actually, y is 15, and dy dt is 5. z is 17, so let's calculate dz dt. 8 times 3 is 24, and 15 times 5. 10 times 5 is 50, 5 times 5 is 25. 50 and 25 adds up to 75. 24 plus 75, that's 99, and that's equal to 17 times dz dt. Now let's divide both sides by 17. So dz dt is 99 over 17 when z is positive 17. And so this is just a basic introduction into related rates. It helps you to focus on the analytical part of solving problems. Now for other problems you need to design the equation yourself. You have to figure out what equation applies to certain situations and it's best to draw a picture. 
So I'm going to post some other videos on related rates, and you could take a look at those if you need help in that area. So that's it for this video, and uh, thanks again for watching.